Five Subtle Signs of Early Stage Depression and What to Do About Them People handle depression differently. Some try to hide it from others. Some convince themselves that everything is fine. And some don't even know they have depression. Besides the usual symptoms of depression, such as sadness and misery, there are warning signs that are subtler. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic today. I'm doing marvelous, and if you are doing as marvelous as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or... We're going to talk about depression, which is not a very, uh, very happy topic, but we still need to talk about it because the things happen in life, and uh, we have to... You know, information is power, and the idea today is to identify the, the subtle signs of early stage depression and find ways to prevent them, right? Before I get into the native gritty, let me give a quick shout out to uh, Dallin Hall in Saskatoon, in the beautiful state, the beautiful Canadian province of Saskatchewan. Carol Burns in Regina, Saskatchewan, and Amelia Marshall in Prince Albert, in the beautiful Canadian province of Saskatchewan. So, I'm not sure my pronunciation is right, but uh, yeah, so Dallin, Carol, and Amelia in Canada really appreciate your help. Now, the first subtle signs of early stage depression is if you see physical and dietary changes in your body. So, for instance, appetite and weight changes, right? So, basically, you have a loss of appetite or you're getting weight, right? So, you know, if you find yourself eating too little or eating too much, this can suggest the presence of depression, right? Because the thing here is that, as you know, some people will turn to, to food for comfort, right? And um, others, actually, when they're sad, they would uh, lose their appetite. So it really depends on, on the person. So if you have changes in food intake, this could start start making you, the person, lose weight or gain weight, right? So if you see drastic changes, in uh, the drastic changes in weight in a person, you this could be a little sign of um, of early stage depression. In addition to that, as we all know, a, a sudden weight change can uh, affect somebody's self esteem, right? Whether the person is becoming more obese or is getting weight or is skinnier, this can affect somebody's self esteem. So this is very important. Another thing that is important in terms of uh, physical or, and dietary change is alcohol or drug use, right? People will actually resort to drugs or alcohol to for comfort, right? So if you have, if you, if, if certain people have mood disorders, they would use drugs or alcohol or other substances to handle hopelessness, to handle loneliness, to handle misery, to handle sadness right so the thing here is that you have to be very careful about that when you have somebody in your entourage start starts i would say increasing their consumption of alcohol now for drugs that's just a big no-no so they would rather just they should seek uh, health you know medical help all right now so first subtle sign of early stage depression you see physical and dietary changes through appetite and weight changes or alcohol or drug use second sign you feel lethargic so if someone is is prone to early stage depression they might feel lethargic what do i mean by that you have fatigue right so the person is feeling uh, excessively tired they, they they are always sleeping they, they you know they're always always tired right the another thing here is that the, the person even on, on when, when when it comes to things they like you know for instance if someone loves painting or, or someone loves jogging when it comes to jogging you you don't see them anymore jogging so they they've lost interest in things that they've been like they, they love doing before right so excessive exhaustion can be a sign of early stage depression another thing when it comes to lethargy is change in sleeping habits right so as we all know research has shown that there is a strong connection between sleep and mood right so if you don't sleep properly you can be depressed or you can be in a bad mood right so 
the the thing is that the flip side of it is that you know oversleeping or undersleeping can be a sign of depression so if you see somebody sleeping too much this could also be a sign of early stage depression all right i'll be right back right after this i'm going there. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation around the, the subtle signs of early stage depression and what to do about them. So we already gave you two early, two signs, if you will, two symptoms. Now we're going to number three. All right. Before I do this, you know, please, if you love the content of the show so far, you appreciate the quality of the, of the, the topic, the quality of the content. Please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell so you are made aware of new shows. Also, comment below. Give us your experience when it comes to depression, early stage depression, everything around the symptoms, the treatment, and the prevention. Like this show. Share this content so more people can be aware of uh, early stage depression and hopefully prevent it. I want to give a shout out to Ashton Anderson in Oakdale, California, Avery Burns in San Francisco, Forest, California, and Daisy Butler in San Jose, California. Thank you so much. Number three, you have no rosy outlook on life. If somebody is prone to early stage depression, they have no positive outlook on life. For example, you see forced happiness. In other words, you know, they, they're, they're not happy, but they're forcing themselves. I spoke earlier about somebody doing, somebody not doing their favorite sports, not, not engaging in their favorite uh, passion, for instance. Sometimes they might engage in, those, in that passion, but forcefully. Or they're doing it like, you know, they're really doing it, but, they, but their heart is not really in it, right? So you have some kind of forced happiness when it comes to doing things, all right? You also have people who are prone to early stage depression. They are less optimistic than others, right? So if you have someone who has more pessimistic tendencies, if they don't, they only see gloom, they don't think that tomorrow will be better. They're thinking they're seeing darkness everywhere. They, 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 they cannot imagine a rosier outlook on life. This could be a sign of early stage depression. Another thing that I that I said, I think I've already said that before, is a disinterest in hobbies, right? And, 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 and that is just very key, right? This is very key. If someone loves doing something and all of a sudden they just stop doing them, you know, there is something going on. Something is amiss. So the, the again, folks, this is a general information show. We're not doctors and we're not uh, healthcare specialists. We're not providing medical advice. Every, every situation is different. I'm not saying that every, whenever someone has a, a, a negative outlook on life, that person is, is prone to uh, early stage depression. We're giving general information, right? You might want to double check with your uh, healthcare provider to make sure that your particular situation is well understood before any further uh, treatment or any further um, action is taken. All right, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I'm doing really wonderful here. I hope you are doing fantastic. I want to uh, continue today's conversation around um, the the five subtle signs of uh, early stage uh, depression. I spoke earlier about somebody not having a rosy outlook on life. That was number three. Number four, you feel emotional and mental imbalance. Emotional and mental imbalance covers two areas. Loss of concentration and constant anger or irritability. So if you are losing concentration often, if you believe that you're, you can't focus for a long period of time while working on something, this could be an early stage, an early, this could be a sign of early stage depression. Why? Because someone who is healthy, somebody who is constantly, um, who, who is very healthy, who is mindful of their action, who is happy, usually is focused, especially if they're doing what they like, right? So you might want to double check that. The, another thing is that if you are angry or irritable, if you're constantly 
get get mad at people for you know because they've done something or whatever this could also be a sign of irritability it could be a sign of uh, early stage depression all right so instead of uh, appearing sad some people with hidden depression may even may just have like um, suppressed anger right so those are early signs you want to double check now number five you feel physical imbalance so number four you feel emotional and mental imbalance number five you feel physical imbalance now physical imbalance can be something like low sex drive right so if you see a change in somebody's sex drive this could be a key indicator for diagnosing you know episodes of major depression right so low sex drive can be something like low self-esteem right fatigue and low energy level or loss of interest in sex right you also have physical pain and health disorders so the person has the person has things like backache headache digestive problems chronic pains again th this those are symptoms right it doesn't mean that when it, if somebody is displaying those symptoms they are automatically uh, prone to early stage depression but you got to look at the totality of all the symptoms to make a determination right now research has also indicated that those with major depression are more likely than those without the condition to experience things like heart disease cancer, type 2 diabetes, autoimmune conditions, and arthritis. All right, so this is very important to kind of think about. Now, another thing that I want to mention here is, now, so we've given you five, right? I've given you five, five early, five signs of early stage depression, right? So now, the question is, what to do if you believe you have a hidden depression? Now, if you believe you have, you may have hidden depression, please speak to your doctor or a mental health professional. The reason being that those professionals have expertise and they can help make a diagnosis and recommend a course of treatment, right? Now, there are a lot of, st there are a lot of steps when it comes to treating depression. Here are a few. You can join a support group, right? If you're lonely, if you are going through periods where you feel lonely, joining a support group might help you regain confidence, might help you see that others also are going through the same problem, right? So this will boost your, your self-confidence. You can ask family or friends for support. You can re try to reduce stress in your life, right? And you can use things like yoga, you can do some deep breathing exercises, you can do meditation, right? You can also use apps or you can go online and recite positive self-affirmations. Those are very important, right? Besides joining a support group, you can also socialize more. You can go to a networking event, you can go to a happy hour, you can reconnect with uh, reconnect with uh, childhood friends, you can um, go to your alma mater and uh, meet uh, you know your school alumni, that kind of things. You can volunteer. This is also great. Volunteer helping others. That can boost not only your self-confidence, but also your karma account. Right? Engage in activities you enjoy. Or as a matter of fact, even better, identify new activities that you could be interested in, right? Did you want to start that pottery class that you have been putting on, you, you, you've been putting off for the last 20 years? Go on and just sign up for that. Do you want to start playing basketball? You know, um, do that, right? Try to exercise regularly. Exercise plays a great role in rebalancing your, horm your hormones and also, you know, releasing a lot of good, uh, good hormones, you know, like dopamine, for instance, what they have, the, what they call the runner's high. You don't have to run. You can bike, you can swim, you can do all kinds of activities as long as you're exercising. That's pretty good, too. And don't forget, also critical here, always take care of your diet. Exercising and all these things are cool, but eating a balanced diet will help you go a long way toward recovery. All right. So this is very important. I will talk to you right after this and go
Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation. We're about to wrap up today's uh, today's show. We have a conversation around the five subtle signs of early stage depression. And uh, I want to quickly give a shout out to Angel Cannon in Dundee, Michigan, Clem Gibson in uh, Detroit, of course, Michigan, and Caleb Randall in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Really appreciate it. Now, what is today's conversation? Again, we're about to wrap up here. People handle depression differently. Some trying to hide it from others. Some convince themselves that everything is fine. Some don't even know they have depression. Besides the usual symptoms of depression, such as sadness and misery, there are warning signs that are subtler. I've given you those five in today's show. And here are they, those, those uh, symptoms again, just to recap. You see physical and dietary changes. You feel lethargic. You have no rosy outlook on life. You feel emotional and mental imbalance. You feel physical imbalance. And uh, I also gave you what to do if you believe you have hidden depression, right? So you want to take care of that. Now, before we wrap this up, here is today's call to action. We always have give a few tips here and there in terms of a call to action to 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 nudge our viewers and listeners and and fans to make the right step to take the right make the right decisions so today if you are having stress in your life try to find ways to handle that and improve your self-esteem whatever it is whatever it is you have to do breathe in socializing exercising do it take good care of yourself right you know diet uh, having a proper diet is very important sleep enough whatever it is whatever problems you have think about sleeping try to sleep have a proper fitness regimen right don't forget friends and relatives when times are hard right you want to reach out to them you want to spend time with them even better you want to spend time with them now don't wait until things are bad and you are going through a rough patch to call them no right another thing you want to do is to get medical checkups regularly right so you don't want to wait until you, you you are depressed, right? Reach out to your healthcare provider. Reach out to a network group, to a support group, all right? Do everything you can to be in a good health, to, to put health on your side. All right, folks. Thank you so much for your help. And remember, stay healthy and marvelous. <laughs>